thank you all so much for the support that you all showed me so far so i thought i would start off with the uncharted series the uncharted series being one of the most loved series in the playstation network so what we have here is the uncharted 4 thieves end now they have brought it back to make it look more spectacular for us it is one of the most loved adventure in the uncharted series it was so loud you know that uh, we started missing the favorite character nathan drake oh. nathan drake the moment the series ended he was sorely missed nathan. so let's bring back with this series of videos so that we start the adventure with a young nathan drake who seems to be in a lot of trouble what are we gonna do with you you must be tired of these lectures i, I hate getting you. lectures what about you and now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else he seems to be grounded yes, post dinner time weekend. alone in his room i don't see why i'm the only one being oh, punished because you started the punishment fight. that ought to cause a lot of stress I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself. Now stress causes the release of stress you hormone. You snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? You know the pituitary gland in the brain it gets the stimulated. It sends stimulation to a small gland on top of our kidneys called as adrenal gland. What was it that then? releases steroids? Steroid is the stress hormone, glucocorticoid. Nothing. I'll save it for confession. My God, he has some cheek on him. <laughs> no matter what I try, you seem insistent. I'm She's really angry. As your brother. What a waste. Now, during night time, the stress hormone glucocorticoid it is at its lowest level. Okay, for around dinner time. But in the period of stress, it increases its secretion so is that a good thing or a bad thing especially you know when we are about to start our adventure we need all the blood sugar to provide the energy for us right for this adventure so glucocorticoid is going to increase the blood sugar level so let's start our adventure let's uh, move around on rooftops over here that is going to get us excited Heart is going to start pumping a lot. We know that heart too slippery. Uh, causes blood pressure that is 120 bar 80 normally. But in about 5 to 10 seconds, it is going to increase about 30%. 30% increase is going to be sensed by our body defense mechanism because you know the body cannot allow the blood pressure to increase too much, right? So defense mechanism like baroreceptor something that is found in the largest blood vessel which is going to come out of the heart which is the iota and that blood that supplies the brain at the angle of the jaw the common carotid artery these areas they sense the blood pressure level and regulate it okay. nice and quiet okay we cannot keep exerting because it is not just about the increase in the blood pressure level it is also the increase in carbon dioxide emission we start panting for breath right to help boys like him. In the meantime, so when we are hiding we cannot keep panting for breath we'll be heard you, want me to do? you know my opinion <laughs> i'm not ready to give up on him yet you can't so we need to take rest in between to replenish the lost oxygen Look, i'll talk to him in the morning okay good night father good night sister catherine okay so where all is the oxygen stored in the body? Of course, the lungs supplies all the oxygen that we require. Apart from the lungs, there is also the blood. Blood contains blood cells. So blood cells is going to contain red blood cells. And then not only that, from the blood, before it reaches the tissues, there is a fluid in between that is called the interstitial fluid that bathes all the cells and the tissues. So there also oxygen is going to get stored. And apart from that, the muscles that we are using for exertion, it contains myoglobin and muscles also store oxygen. So all these areas, the oxygen has to get replenished. So intermittently taking rest would help. 
muscles basically are of two types so we have the fast fibers and we have the slow fibers when we want to you know suddenly move so we depend upon the fast fibers for that but then the only drawback is these fast fibers they are not containing much of mitochondria so pretty soon they get tired as it gets built up so then for sustenance we depend upon oh my god i was about to get caught so we depend upon the red fibers which is the slow fibers which have a lot of mitochondria so energy gets replenished and uh, this will help us sustain our effort so we need the fast fibers we need the slow fibers both of them in correct proportions so when we are jumping around buildings you know climbing on walls there's a lot of effort that is being put up so then the energy in the cells is getting used up so how much energy is there in the cells basically that is only 5 to 10 millimolar okay so 5 to 10 millimolar is not too much it is soon going to get used up and the energy which is adenosine triphosphate is going to get converted into the breakdown product adenosine monophosphate so what is the advantage is the cells is going to the uh, realize that blood sugar is going down and then that uh, it, it is going to use the blood sugar basically so then only energy is produced we don't want to get tired when we are doing high exertion activities like this especially when we are slipping like this we shouldn't have muscle fatigue otherwise then we'll fall down right okay So we have reached Sam Drake, I guess. So where is he? So that is Sam Drake, the brother of Nathan Drake, right? So when we look at two guys who are of different age group, one has not reached puberty, one has reached puberty. So immediately we can think about the. male sex hormone so we know testosterone which is a male sex hormone but apart from that there is dehydroepiandrosterone so this sex hormone is produced by the adrenal gland by the adrenal cortex which is going to secrete the stress hormone glucocorticoid so is it important yes especially in a childhood you know early development of the male sex organ is the is with the presence of the dehydroepiandrosterone but later on around puberty testosterone secreted by our testes takes an upper hand okay so let's follow him we are going to go about together in this adventure right now okay so when we talk about his weight the a child a 10 year old and a young adult what about the blood volume it cannot be the same the amount of blood between the both of them right so we'll come to that in our next episode thank you all for joining me today see you next time